Uh, you've also got obviously elections coming up uh, very, very soon. Uh, the expectation is there's, there's no clear absolute majority for any single party, including the Socialist Party. Uh, are we likely to end up in a situation similar to 2015 where mm. there was a lack of clarity about who would lead and eventually that led to another round of elections in 2016? Hmm. Well, we have elections coming up in two weeks' time, yeah. indeed. We've been, we came to the government in an in a unexpected manner to a certain extent because of the previous government being ousted because of corruption. And so we came with a very clear mandate to do as much as possible uh, in the, finally it's been 10 months, um, to do as much as possible to put the country on the right track and to show that there can be a clean government, efficient management of the public resources and the reform program for the future. I hope that the Spanish population is going to support this. Actually, the most recent polls are putting us above 30% of vote expectation, which is quite positive. So our hope would be to have a strong majority that would allow us to go on with a, a government, a socialist government, with a very balanced, responsible uh, reform agenda going forward for, for the next four years. And I wouldn't like to speculate on, on other options because, you know, that is the first best and we are hoping on that. And do you have a view on how the dialogue with the separatists, uh, particularly those in Catalonia, is going to play out over the long term? Because one of the reasons the budget didn't pass this year, obviously, were the separatists uh, rejected it. Uh, so where do you see this going in the future? And ultimately, do you see there having to be another referendum in Catalonia yet again? Well, the, the key issue, the key conflict or situation that we have in Spain is not one of Catalonia vis-à-vis uh, -vis the rest of Spain. or It's one of the Catalan people amongst themselves, you know. The society in Catalonia, it's not the only place where this happens actually these days, is quite divided on this very hot issue. And this is making it very difficult for them to talk to each other. In the 10 months we've been in office, we've tried to again put this conflict on track bring down the steam, you know, calm down the atmosphere, engage in a dialogue with the representatives of the Catalonian government and try to bring this into a more dialogue-based, uh, you know, again, responsible approach towards this conflict. I think that we have improved and we've made a lot of progress in this year. I really hope that the Spanish population is going to support also us for this reason, you know, because this is the voice of reason instead of trying to hit up conflict or to go to the extremes in these very delicate areas. I hope that that will be the case. But indeed, the reason why the budget didn't pass was this paradoxical alliance between the right-wing parties and the independentists, which are supposed to be really strong opponents, but got yeah. together to try to block us paradoxically. Yeah. Just away from politics, though, uh, do you think that the economy can continue to perform well even if we're in a situation where there's unclarity about who is going to lead the next government? For the moment, uh, political changes are not affecting the economic performance in our country. For the last three or four years, there's been a situation of relative tension in a number of, of issues in, in my country. And nevertheless, the Spanish economy has performed quite well. I think that we have a very solid basis. The economy, the, the fundamentals of the economy are, are quite robust. And therefore, there shouldn't be any reason. But furthermore, you know, having minority governments or even having coalition governments, which I hope will not be the case in my country, but maybe, you know, as, as in other many uh, European countries around us, this is not abnormal. I think that this is not uh, out of, of outstanding or, or a reason why we should not have a stable government. Spanish society has shown to be very stable. A uh, social tissue is very strong in my country. And I think this gives a, a, a very good framework for any investor to bet for, for, for Spain. That may explain why actually foreign investment multiplied by six last year as compared to the previous one. And I'm sure this will continue to be the case in the future. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.